We're being asked to find the sum of the following infinite series. So this is what's called a telescoping series, so solution. The first step is to identify a sub n. So this here is your a sub n. Let's write it down again. So a sub n is equal to 1 over n times n plus 1. The next step is to use partial fractions. So we can write this as a over n plus b over n plus 1. Then we'll find a and b. To do that, we'll multiply both sides by n and n plus 1. When you multiply the left-hand side by n and n plus 1, you just get 1. On the right-hand side, we're left with a times n plus 1, because the n cancels and then b, and again we're multiplying all of this by n and n plus 1, so n plus 1 cancels, we're left with n. Now we can pick values of n that make things 0, so for example if n is equal to negative 1, we end up with 1 equals, well negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so we get a times 0 plus b times negative 1, so 1 is equal to negative b, so that means that b is equal to negative 1. I'm going to put this in a box. This is not the answer, but it is one of our constants. To find a, we'll set n equal to 0, because that will make this term here 0. So 1 is equal to a, 0 plus 1, plus b times 0. So we end up with 1 equal to a. So that means a is equal to 1. And so that's our other constant. So now we can go back up here and rewrite this. This will be 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. Alright, now that we have a sub n, let me write it again. So a sub n is 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. It turns out that the infinite sum as n runs from 1 to infinity of 1 over n times n plus 1 is equal to, well this is the limit, as n approaches infinity of s sub n, where s sub n is the sum of the first n terms, so a sub 1 plus dot 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 plus a sub n. So the reason we went through all of this is so we can actually compute s sub n and take the limit. Once we do that, we have the answer because the infinite sum is equal to the limit of s sub n, right? So that will be the answer once we find that limit. So let's go ahead and rewrite s sub n and see what happens. So s sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3, I think that's good, plus dot dot dot. Now how many terms do you show? Well as many as necessary. This happens to be a really easy problem so it's easy to see the pattern. So when I say as many as necessary I really mean as many as necessary in order to see the pattern. All right, now let's carefully plug everything in. So s sub n is equal to a sub 1. Well you just look here and replace all of the n's with 1's. So it's 1 over 1, which is 1, minus 1 over 2, right? Because 1 plus 1 is 2. That is a sub 1, okay? Plus a sub 2, it's going to be 1 over 2, minus 1 over 3. So this here is a sub 2, plus a sub 3. So that's 1 over 3, minus 1 over 4. So this here is a sub 3 plus dot 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 plus. Now we're going to plug in n minus 1 because we're looking for a sub n minus 1. So it's 1 over n minus 1 minus and then replacing n with n minus 1 here. Well, n minus 1 plus 1 is just n. So we get 1 over n. So this term here is a sub n minus 1. And the last one is a sub n, so we already know what that is. It's 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1.
Now, the reason it's called telescoping is because the terms cancel. So this one cancels with the one before it. This one cancels with the one before it. The invisible one we can't see cancels with the one before it. This one cancels with the one before it. This one cancels with the one before it. So we're left with S sub n equal to 1 minus 1 over m plus 1. So if we take the limit of S sub n as n approaches infinity, that's equal to the limit of 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 as n approaches infinity. And this term here approaches 0. So this is just 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. And so the answer is equal to 1, because the infinite sum is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of s sub n. s sub n, by the way, has a name. It's called the nth partial sum. I hope this video has helped. This is the easiest example I could think of of telescoping series.